Hey Pete here for Studio Live today. Now, have I mentioned lately how much I like GarageBand on iOS? Well, I really do, because today I had a very full-on day, including my other other job, which is uh, the PA announcer at the ice hockey here in Adelaide in the uh, AIHL, which is the Australian Ice Hockey League. So I spent uh, four or five hours uh, playing music and doing the PA announcing there at the rink. Um, which meant I had to save my voice, so I couldn't do any singing. Uh, so yeah, it's been a bit of a full-on day. However, what I have been able to do is in the in-between times, on the way to and fro, I've been able to work on this song, and I'm pretty excited to share with you what I've put together, because I've got the arrangement, the scratch arrangement, and now we've only got two days to go, so I better have an arrangement down. So I've got the instrumental scratch arrangement done with guitars. I've got three electric guitars, an acoustic guitar, bass guitar, and I've even thrown drummer in there for good measure. So let's now jump in and I'll show you where I'm at in this song, my song in a week challenge. Two days left, the pressure's on, we need to finish this song. Let's go. So here we are in my project in GarageBand. Now, at the risk of overstating it and something that's pretty obvious, I love GarageBand because what I've been able to do is I recorded all of these on my iPad, I transferred it using AirDrop quickly over to my iPhone, took it on the road, did some tweaks, did some volume adjustments, played around with drummer, brought it back here. It's still on my iPhone, but tomorrow I can flick it back to my iPad and start recording these real tracks and my vocals. So loving GarageBand, so super flexible. Not telling you anything you don't already know about how I feel. Anyway, let's jump into this and take a look because you can see here we've got my acoustic guitar track at the top here. We've then got one, two, three electric guitar tracks, a bass guitar track, and finally we've got Anders here, my man Anders on the drums. So let's go through track by track and then at the end, I'm gonna let you listen through to the whole song as it stands and you can let me know what you think about it and any suggestions you have in the next two days before we finalize this sucker. Okay, so the acoustic um, I just recorded using the onboard microphone of the iPhone, iPad, whatever it was at the time. And let's just solo that, that's sounding a bit like this. So not actually a bad sound at all. I'm always astonished at how good just using the nice room setting and using the uh, internal mic on the iPhone or the iPad gives you a pretty good sound. But we are gonna do some other acoustic guitar recordings in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. So that's my acoustic guitar, as I said, literally just put it down. Oh, I did forget to show you this before we get started. You'll notice here I've got all of these sections. If I zoom in, we've got section A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So what you saw on that one note that I showed you in the first couple of episodes, and if you need to catch up, jump back. All of the uh, links are down below to check out the earlier episodes. I put together my arrangement, and all these sections are is that they match my arrangement. Now, GarageBand doesn't let you name your sections, something that I really wish it would, but so we're stuck with the letter numbers here. Letter numbers? The lettering and numbering. I'm going to stop talking. Can you tell I'm tired? I've had a bit of a long day. Uh, so we've got here two bars, which is just our lead in. We've got an eight bar intro, 16 bar verse, the one bar sort of extended breakdown, the chorus, the verse, the three bar extended breakdown, etc. So, and I've left 32 bars at the end here. I like to just leave some, um, some space at the end because I tend to just go on and sort of improvise. I haven't really exactly worked out what the ending is going to be like. Anyway, let's jump back to our instruments. So that was my nice room. I then I mentioned this early on, I wanted to put in my delay guitar. So this is my lead guitar that I've added in. So let me go back to the start here and I'll actually solo these two so that you can hear this in conjunction with the acoustic guitar. So this is my lead guitar part and it's sounding a bit like this. <laughs> You can hear there that I used a pretty dodgy um, uh, iRig to do this, or a, a knockoff iRig, just to do a quick recording of my guitar. So there's quite a lot of bleed in there. But anyway, so that's sort of the opening riff, and then it just goes into the rest of the song. And then as the song progresses, which you'll hear towards the end, we get some uh, more intense lead guitar bits like this. Uh, 
Uh, that's during that sort of rappy section, and then as we come in here towards the end. <laughs> Sort of the outro bit just sort of uh, adds that little bit of additional sound there. I've then got the glam rock guitar here. So this is playing kind of my chords and just giving it that little bit of texture. So that's sounding like this. It's a bad place to show you because it's just playing a single, uh, single E power chord. But uh, let's just come down here and play some. That's our chorus section. As we continue on here, we kick in. And again, the acoustic guitar won't necessarily play all the way through here, but I've just had that as my main scratch instrument. So we'll be playing around with this arrangement. You'll hear how it all sounds in the end. Let's go to guitar number four. We'll take the solo off those. So as, we, as I've said, over and over again, uh, countless times, you want your second verse and your second chorus to have some variety. So I'm actually bringing the third guitar in, but only when we sort of start hitting the second verse and chorus. So when it comes in, it's going to sound a bit like this. Maybe not like that. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> And then this, when we get into our cool bits down here, is going to do a bit of this. So again, it's more of a lead than a rhythm. And then when we get into our really funky uh, rapping bit, we're going to sound like this. So that's going to do our sort of driving funky change up in that uh, rap breakdown part. Now we've got a bass guitar here and if we come back here, the bass you can see is pretty subtle. Um, it only really kicks in again towards that funky bit here towards the end. But for the most part, it's doing some pretty basic stuff a little bit like this. And you could barely hear that, it went burl, burl. So it starts off pretty subtle as we get sort of further on. And it's doing, yeah. So it's got a fairly simple bass part. Let, let's take you down here to where we actually do something with the bass and it's uh, sounded a little bit more interesting. Let's play it down here. <laughs> You can hear in that part, uh, the bass starts to really kick in. Now, my main man, Anders, here. I've really, I haven't done a lot with Anders yet. In fact, the drums are almost exactly the same the whole way through, but I've thrown Anders on here and I've found a drum beat that sounds about right. Uh, it sounds okay for the verse. I need to change it up for the chorus, the bridge, the breakdown. We need to do some variety here, but for the time being, it sounds pretty good. Let's take a quick listen. There you go. That was exactly the beat that I had in my head when I first wrote this song was just that sort of uh, alternative rock, but sort of laid back alternative rock kind of sound. And then sort of kicking in with a little bit of louder, more complicated stuff during the choruses and the breakdowns, which we will get to. So that is it for now. That is what I've been able to do today. As I said, it's not a heap but I'm pretty happy with how it's coming together. So what I'm gonna to do tomorrow is, as I said, sit down and record all of these instruments properly. Uh, for want of a better word, they're sounding okay, but I need to really just uh, nail them now that I've worked out the arrangement. Need to record my vocals and some backing vocals and then bring it on home. So originally I thought, yeah, let's, let's put a bunch of layered synths and keyboards and other sounds in here. That may be a little bit out of scope in this project. But anyway, let's now take a listen to this entire mix of my, the instrumental version of my song, Sin.
So there you go. What do you think? What do I need to change? What do I need to add? I know it was a little bit rough around the edges there, and uh, obviously it's the scratch tracks at the moment. So what I've been doing is listening to that today as well as I've been creating it, working out what the parts are going to be like, because in the next two days, because yes, we only have two days to go, I need to sit down and record all of these parts. So that's what I'll be doing, and uh, I don't want to preempt failure here, but let's just say that I don't get 100% complete in the next two days. Well, I've probably got much more of a song than I would have had if I didn't have a one-week deadline. So again, let's not aim for failure, but let's appreciate that when you uh, set the bar high, sometimes you're not going to quite get there. Again, I still have two days. I've got a busy couple of days, but I'm pretty determined. I'm pretty stubborn when I put my mind to something. Thanks again for watching. As always, if you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, and if you want to give me feedback about the song, tell me what you like, what you don't like. I'd love to hear every bit of feedback you have. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.